Today we're going to learn how to clean a garfish. This is an alligator gar that's just a few inches short of five foot. Um, a lot of them around here, we, the bass fishermen really like it when we shoot them uh, because they eat all the bass. Uh, but they're good to eat. It's one of the fish that you may not know about or think that's a bad. But if you cook it right and you clean it right, it turns out to be pretty good table for you. together and, and here we are. Uh, so the first thing uh, we want to look at is this is armor. The alligator gar has armor. I mean you can't even begin to penetrate that with a knife. So we're going to use our cane knife or machete and you start back here. Once we've taken the top off and got a good flat spot, I'd have liked to have gotten it more like this all the way, but I'll tell you, that stuff is hard, hard. It's actually like flexible chain mail. You see it? It won't bend one way, but as it, the fish swims, it'll actually bend. It's the way the good Lord built into his creation. Very cool engineered scales. Once you have that open, it's basically, you're just going to come in here start skinning it out. You can use a fillet knife, but these gar are so tough, especially on the bigger ones. I use a deboning knife like I use on a deer. And I just come in here and cut it back. And we're gonna take out the back straps on the fish. And just like a deer back strap. Just like that. I find the spine here. Just lay it open, cut it out just like you're doing a deer back, back strap. And those of you that uh, have done, never done a, a, a deer back strap, it's just a tube of meat. That's why they call it a strap, because that's the back muscle. Pure meat. No bones. Look at that. No bones at all. Do the other side now. My knife's probably gonna be dull when I'm done to resharpen it. I can already feel it getting a little dull. Our second back strap, you just cut it out. Just that two will meet there. There it is, our second back strap. And if you can see, that's all the meat in the top of that gar. Those two straps come out, just pure meat. The rest of that is ribs and intestines and that huge head for eating fast hole. Look, I can put my arm down in there. Look, it actually opens up his mouth and has a fork and tongue. Look. His teeth will get you. And then God designed in that fish when it would be out of water or when it gets a, a, an injury. That slime is a defense mechanism to try to heal itself. And so it's been in the 
dice chest, and it just gets real slimy. And you can you can tell how this the scale system really wiggles back and forth like chain mail. You can see that it actually opens up to give flexibility for that fish. That is some divine engineering in there, how it flexes. But yeah, now that you got your meat, which is a bunch, I'd say that's like 18 to 20 pounds of meat, just pure meat. You want to rinse it really well. Try to get some of that blood out of there. Maybe soak it in the water for a little bit. You can see it's just falling apart. Pure meat. Cut some of this off. I would trim off some of this red. You get down to that white flaky meat. And then just go ahead and get your Ziplocs. And yeah, don't forget you can search recipes online on the internet and share them. Uh, we're always looking for new information, new recipes on how to cook game. Uh, but nothing we shoot or harvest ever goes to waste. We try to use everything uh, that the good Lord has blessed us with to feed ourselves, our family, others, anyone who's in need. And that's it. So subscribe if you like it, share it, check out some of our other videos. There's more coming. God bless. Stay safe.